Okay, in launching UTM, I noticed now that it's got a remote server for Mac OS. I can enable that server and it says that using that, I have a UTM remote client. Uh, and I can connect to it with the with the new uh, with that client using the same front end as UTM for iOS and Vision OS, but without any of the Kimu background. You get that free on the App Store. I'm going to go ahead and say continue. By all means, uh, let's enable this. So go to UTM settings and click on server. And I'm going to automatically set up the UTM server and I will allow access from remote clients. And it's got this very good password. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, quit UTM for the moment and let me start it back up. And uh, I'm going to launch my window. Okay, so I have my um, UTM up and running. Okay, just to show you, I have a, a working Windows 11 virtual machine. And on the UTM server, it does show that it is running. That's the server IP address and the port number. Apparently, there is no Mac OS client. Well, there was, but there isn't any longer at this time due to security issues but there is on the iPad which I have iPad silicone so I'll go figure on that one the iPad OS app for UTM remote client is not available on Mac OS however on the iPad side and iPhone as well uh, the app is available uh, UTM remote And you can see it's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to get it. Okay, it's installing. And this is installing on the iPad OS. And it's not a very big app. Let me open that up. Uh, it would like to find devices on the local network. Let's see what it finds. Okay, it does see my Mac Mini M1. Uh, host is not trusted. Well, I can trust it. I know I can. On this side. Oh, yeah. I had to approve it. Okay, so I approve it there. And I uh, trust here. Okay. And now is where I'm going to use that very long password uh, that I received when I set up the, uh, the UTM server. I'm going to copy and paste that. It's long. And uh, I, I think I'll go ahead and trust that and I'll save that password. I'll click connect. Uh, UTM's SE wizard now allows you to create a VM easily with the floppy boot image. Okay, now this remote client is letting me see exactly what's in UTM. Notice I've got the Mac OS. I got the uh, uh, UTM Windows, a virtual machine. Uh, the Mac side is a little bit, I started working on that for some test purpose. I don't know that it's even working at this time. But certainly this one is. And uh, let me, what does it take to see it then? Well, it's currently running on the Mac side. So maybe that might be an issue. Let me go ahead and stop it. Shutting it down on the Mac side, on the Mac Mini side. Okay, and let's see what I get here now. And I'm able to start it up. Okay. And so there, <laughs> you see what appears to be a, um, 
<laughs> Windows 11 running on my iPad, uh, but it is actually a remote client to the a UTM. And uh, it's refreshing, of course, it's remote, so even though I'm on the local network, size the screen up, he's on the iPad screen itself. Okay, uh, so far I've only been able to get this to work on a local area network or the same Wi-Fi. Uh, that's why I'm saying it's of limited use. I really want this to work over the internet. But when I do, I get uh, failed to connect a spice, uh, could not connect a socket, socket IO timed out. Uh, I've tried numerous things and I am reaching out to the UTM forum community to see on GitHub if I can get a response on how to resolve this uh, but until that time it's of limited use um, but uh, for what it's worth I hope this helps and thank you for your support so much until next time bye bye